Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. What, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just decolonize you. Welcome to The Advocate and to The Boxing Ring, where we take on topical issues that concern us all, no holds barred. I'm kicking things off by saying, as directly as I can, bride price must go. Some of us are positioned to put up a resistance, and I say, bring it. Seydu is set to give us an education on the paucity of measurable substance in our education sector. Chuka is on part two of his trilogy on Lagos and the challenges of urbanization. Today, he takes on the street hawkers. Liboris is dedicating his advocacy to a few good men yet to be actualized, I hasten to add. Ekene calls it a wrap by turning the mirror on all of us. Are we guilty of sacrificing our sons and daughters? Sober stuff. Time to get into the ring after the break. What do you do when something passes its sell-by date? You chuck it, that's what. Bride price must go. I came across a tweet by a young man who boldly stated that as long as he pays the bride price, he can cheat and do all manner of things, but his wife cannot. Unfortunately, this is the thought process of many men. I decided to take a closer look at this practice and its impact on the participants. Bride price is money, property, or any other form of wealth paid by a groom or his family to the family of the woman he will be married to. This tradition is still practiced in many parts of the world, including Nigeria. It is incredible to me that in a world where gender equality is now a reality, that such a practice is st still endures, a practice that is based on the premise that women are commodities to be sold. It is no surprise many men take this to mean they have full ownership of the woman and can do as they please. The bride price is then taken as a license to legitimately carry out acts of sexual and physical abuse against the woman. After all, she is his property. In rural areas, if a woman is seeking divorce, it won't be granted until she has paid back her bride price in full. As most women are not financially independent in such areas, they are unlikely to afford the divorce and are therefore trapped in loveless, abusive marriages. Men are also negatively affected by this practice. With rising unemployment and inflation, many can't afford the often exorbitant bride price, which often includes money, livestock, property, and in some cases, servants. This pushes many men to turn to loans or instrumental payments, trapping them in an unnecessary cycle of debt. So far, the only argument that I have come across in favor of bride price is about culture preservation, but I believe it is time some cultures, such as bride price, need to be done away with. What say you guys? Absolutely. Um, I think that it's nonsense. Totally nonsense. Um, I don't know what, when you say cultural preservation, um, I think people misunderstand culture. Culture is not static. Um, culture, sh culture is progressive. Um, that doesn't mean you change it for the sake of change, but it means that it can change. And I can't imagine what bride price is for. Mm. I, I honestly, I've never, th I've, never th I've never understood it. So that means that even when I was very young, I had, it had already gone out for me. So I, I, it's something that I can't even discuss. Did you do bride price? I, I can't even remember. If it, if, if, if it was done, it was done 
the, the man who is married without my one knowing. That pays by yeah, price. without my knowing. No, well, and, I know that. And but so, it's, but, it's, it's, and, but it's, it's, um, and, and it's something that to me, put it this way, it doesn't give me ownership of your, of, of yeah, your wife. That, because I don't believe in it. So to me, it was done as part of cultural preservation, but it has absolutely zero. Uh, power value to you. Uh, to pa and, and power because it's the power we're talking about right now because you know the, the power to be able to say this is your commodity no no or whatever no, i think no. you know? I, I think it, you, <laughs> you, it, 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 you can you can read it another way what if yeah. it it signifies how much you value the person in question can you value you're showing yeah. so you're showing that look i appreciate you so much this is a token to show how much I care yeah, that can be. and respect. You know the funny and thing. Value. Then, then I think that a, 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 a gift of jewelry to the person direct is mm, more. Th th that's if I tell a girl, here's a four hundred thousand uh, pound uh, uh, bracelet. That's a bread necklace, price, also. and I give it to her. No, no, no. Yeah, her. And I give it to her. Not, I've appreciated yes, her, no, right? No. Not to her father, mm. her mother, Chuka, her uncles. You know, never. you're mixing this bread price. You're looking at it from just one, one section. One no, I know. Section I, I have, that's, that's of the it. country. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. In Benin, for example, the bread price is twenty-four naira. Mm -hmm. okay. Twenty-four kobo, even not mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. twenty-four kobo. It's remained like that. It remains like that. Yes, I I, I agree that. It and can be then low, yeah. the other things that you bring, some for the girl's mom. Auntie. Some for the girl herself mm -hmm. to show yes, look. Yes. This is the, like the, the the gold you talk about. Yeah, that's why right. you put it there for her. Yeah, yeah. this mm -hmm. is for her. Yeah, this to show her. that you value her. Yeah. But that twenty-four cobble remains twenty-four cobble. What does it mean? Because yeah, what is you know, wait, wait, wait. Now? Because what 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 it's like the ring that you exchange in Benin. They don't exchange ring. Okay. It's like we are not selling like our daughter to you. Of. Yeah, it's a form of. A like a, a seal yeah. on that contract, so why don't and, and so, a normal seal? and so, what <laughs> what if you're talking about? Uh, where I disagree with you mm -hmm. is on women not being able to afford a return of bride price, not in Benin, or the fact that somebody will go take a loan to pay bride price, not in Benin. Mm. In Benin, it's about the marriage of two families. It is that not even the people that are getting married that receive <coughs> or give bride price. Correct. It is the family that look. We accept your, your, your friendship, we you. or we welcome you into mm. our family, mm. and we're taking this as a token of that establishment, to seal yeah. that uh, establishment. If we're talking about marriages and, um, you know, that man that talked about uh, <laughs> uh, owning his wife, he, I think the guy probably was just crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 he was having fun but on social media. Would abuse bride price would abuse anyone. Anything. Yeah. So because sure. for me, bride price, um, I, the value I placed on it because I had bride price paid for me, and it was this kind of negotiation where my husband put something forward and my dad took one note out of it. Yeah, exactly. And say, look, of, I'm but not it was part of my the daughter. enjoyment of like you say, two families coming together. You want to acknowledge my auntie because of the role she played. In yeah, it. Yeah, Everybody yeah, has yeah. joy. You take a cloth, you give her. You take this. It's part of it. And then in my mind, what it sort of happens to, and I may be wrong, is the Judeo-Christian aspect where you sort of, you know, uh, I think it was Isaac who did something like that for his wife, uh, Rebecca. It's just a way of saying, look, I'm taking, I'm, 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 I want to care for you, to have and to hold, to, to cherish. And, and this is my way of saying, I will take care of you. Yes. It's, not, it's not ownership. It's, it's more of saying, no, it's not yeah, ownership. But I, 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 I think it should be a care price. No, no, it shouldn't be. Yeah. Yeah. It depends on how you wrong. interpret it. You know, you know, unfortunately, some people many call, many people call it price. And you but I'm saying that those who interpret it wrong, would still find an excuse. You're westernizing a big problem. Even if you didn't have a price. pay dowry on a woman. You pay dowry on a woman. Yeah. In Benin, you pay dowry. Yeah. Dowry can be these jewelries. Yeah. It can, but that bride, the bride price, mm. Mm. it wasn't. It was the Western word for it that they now started calling it so bride price. Uh, mm. Maybe it's dowry. You know. Yeah, yeah but you and see, I'm many so families same, same insist different. on this bride price. Like I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm I mean, not trying to be funny, and I'm not. But one thing I know from my understanding, many people worry about marrying girls from Imo states okay. because yes, oh, yeah. because so you had the, the bride exactly. price. Yes, it's not I'm just. Yeah, because their bride price runs into millions and millions. Yeah. You and know? it won't take 
and, and but he said this the when marriage the will not of take your spouse place. is very key and how you two negotiate because even if the family wants to come and take, take fleece your husband you're the one marrying him you can draw the line because you, you can't no, that that you that can't no you can't because no, no you won't be you will not be able to in exactly the same yeah, way liberals said it was the families mm. that are it's doing this let me give you my own example in my own case unless you have a family in my case can listen and that's or a touch, wife that's, can make her family listen. No, in my touch, case, touch and go. That's in my you, case, it's just ridiculous. In my case, my in-laws said, "Look, these are two young people. Whatever you think the man should give to me, I have collected in Lagos, and so leave all of those ones. The ones that you know is for the family. You, mean, uh -huh. you bring those ones that is for the family. It shows the appreciation that, mm. like I said, that price it's a seal. You call it bright price, but in a traditional." Uh, language, we call it other names. Yeah, so maybe we need to it's change like the, the language. But like, not nobody, call it bright price. The, the, because the thing is, there are uh, people out uh, there uh, who uh, misunderstand that, that word. word bright and they price. call they, you know, and also they take, they go as far as quoting from the Bible in the sense that, oh, you know, the woman is supposed to be submissive. She's like my own That's property. You can abuse anything. Yes, yeah, no, but I'm, I'm saying that they, they, majority, they are abusing Bible now. Majority, majority the of the people around today, uh, as in, we're, we were talking about it in the car, that, you know, that education is something that's lacking. So you're dealing with a lot of illiterates who, as soon as they hear bride prices, I am owning this woman. Mm -hmm. And especially if they're going to have to take a loan to pay <laughs> okay, all this bride okay, price. Enough, are you really going to tell them that when they want to run around town and do nonsense with different women and different things and different whatever, mm -hmm. that you're going to tell a man that has taken that's a loan that, oh, no, hey, you, have taught you can't do that. Look, look, does does that give the wife the, the most, right most to even say things, anything at right. that point? Uh, the bride price, like you said, it's, for me, symbolic. Mm. Yeah. Right. It's not really so amount like if you look at the West, Southwest mm. here, you'd pay a certain amount and usually the parents will return it back to you and yeah. tell you that yeah. our child is not for That's sale. Just you understand? And the North parents. too. You know, so it's not really, but I, I want us to be careful with our culture because Westernized, uh, Westernization is, we're losing a lot of our true values. These things are, you know, two families celebrating, yeah. you yeah. know, yeah. young yeah. people coming together and we say, you know what, this is just a token to, to show to my enrich. appreciation. Yeah. You guys, you know? So I it's not really. the ones missing it. Mm. Let's go back to when women were chattel. Was an enrichment of When women of were families. nothing. That's when this concept came about. You are, you are actually making it sound better. 200 years ago, no, I mean, women couldn't even go to school. They couldn't vote. Mm. And you're telling me that Chuka. at that point in time, bright price was nice. Chuka. Of course it wasn't. It, Chuka. And it was to own her. Chuka. Why? Let, no, no, no. It was to own her. Something yeah. <laughs> Chuka. Yeah. Why do you need to buy a diamond worth four hundred thousand yeah. dollars for a woman? I will not. <laughs> there you go. So because and I will not. And I don't want to pay any bright price. And I your analysis. Yes, no. I'm just saying that it is even better to give her the gift directly. So trying to say why I'm saying appreciate. No, 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 no. no. That's the you're, you're, you're moving. You're moving to something else. You're it moving is the same to, thing. No, no, it's, it's, it's not. No, no, it's not. No, but, not. But it is. It's because of her that you're doing. You're giving no, 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 that no, no, no. because you value. I, 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 I want no business with her family. Are you married? No, no, hang on, hang on. No, I'm serious. This is a very serious matter for me because nobody. I have two daughters and nobody. They're not going to. They're not going to have. If they're not going to have traditional marriages, they will not have because there will be no such thing as exchange of anything, not even one cover, a pin, or a, wait, or a glass wait, of water. Chuka, to answer your Me. question, no, no, to now raise no, another wait. issue, to raise yeah. another That's issue. <laughs> I, have, I, have, I have an American white woman yeah. who said she came to marry in Nigeria, mm. married a, an American, yeah. but she said because she loved the glamour. Oh, sure. because because she wants, she wants everything. So we can she have the party. She wanted, you know, it to be like the Yoruba kind of African marriage. Yes. And so how the man's people will come and dobale for, <laughs> you know, we did it in my in-law's house. Yeah. Yeah. And they absolutely love it. We still have the clips. That's what makes yeah. us unique. That's what oh, makes well, us unique. Just, I'm, I'm, I mean, well, I'm, I'm about to round this up, but I just want to say to say, because it is like, oh, be careful with, <laughs> you culture. know, preserving culture. culture. Not yes. every culture not is worth every, yes. it. Yes. And I think also, yeah. when Ekene we can, does also, take a weddings. topic, we'll this, see that not every culture. White weddings. White right. weddings scare people okay. away, more away yeah. from marriage. Because of that. I'm just going to have to wrap this up right here. All I am saying is let's not sustain an unproductive practice in the name of culture. After the break, Seydu assesses the productivity of our education sector 
and finds it seriously wanting. Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organisation should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you.